What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Panini Chronicles Baseball 8-box half-case break. Three random teams each. Number one just sold out. And again, this is a 10-spot break. Everybody gets three random teams in the MLB. Remember, no veteran common ship. Everything else will. So here's the dice really. Here's the customer names. We tripled up the names. There's all the uh, uh, teams. We'll roll the dice. Got ourselves a three and a four for seven times. Good luck, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Brian Croft, down to Brian Croft. Seven times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boston Red Sox down to the Toronto Blue Jays. So, Brian Crawford, you have the Red Sox, William with the Rockies and Mariners, Brian Crawford with the A's, William with the Dodgers, Franklin with the Astros, Jeremy, or sorry, Jerry with the Giants, Eric with the D backs, Brian with the Braves, Jonathan with the Cleveland Indians, Brian Crawford with the Rays, Stephen Kendrick with the Twins and Phillies, Brian Crawford with the Marlins, Chris Parent with the Bre uh, Brewers, Brian Crawford with the Orioles, Jerry with the Reds, Eric with the Mets, Jonathan with the Angels, Chris with the Padres, Franklin with the Pirates, Stephen Kendrick with the Nationals, Eric with the Cubs, Franklin with the Rangers, Jonathan with the Tigers, Brian Crawford with the White Sox Royals, Chris with the Yankees, Jerry with the Cardinals, and Brian Croft with the Toronto Blue Jays. In the meantime, guys, I'm going to turn on uh, the top cam, rip open the case, and uh, get all that ready, just so that way you guys can have a time to trade, and we're not kind of wasting some time. So I'm going to open up the case, and then we'll do a little left to right, a uh, little dice roll to see which one we'll use, and then we'll uh, hopefully have the trade window closed. Just multi-sport coke and uh, graded cards, raw cards. I mean, it's pretty good value, man. No hit in there should be no less than 40 bucks. No hit in there should probably be no more than 200 probably. Most of the hits are in and around the spot price. Alrighty, guys. I am closing the trade window. I think that was a little long enough. All right, so we have two stacks here of eight boxes on each side. Let's see if we can roll a quick little die. 
One, two, three for the left, four, five, six for the right. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll go with the right side. This will be for number two and I'm not gonna mark it. I'm just gonna like put lines through them. Just so you guys know that it's the same one. Nice, Rex. Like I said, by the time I get done with my list, if it's still at seven, then I'll random number block the rest of the teams. And if we can get that done tonight, we will. If not, then it'll go tomorrow. I really think if we're going to get any more breaks done tonight, it's going to be uh, Diamond Icons and Hip Hacks. Or both. One or the other or both. If you guys still want to uh, continue to break tonight. Andrew Vaughn, look at that. To start us off for the Chicago White Sox, an Obsidian rookie autograph. Nice. That is going to go to the uh, Chicago White Sox, Brian Croft. Nate Pearson, that's a rookie there. Ron Acuna Jr., Trevor Larnich. Pavin Smith. Yeah, Martin, like I said, by the time I get caught up with my list, if it's still at 7, I'll put the rest of the teams in an R&B. If not, like I said, then I'll just have to work on that tomorrow. Marcano. Alec Bohm. Oh, we got 400 points coming up. 400 points will be given out to one customer. Dane Dunning. Jazz Chisholm Obsidian. Aaron Judge. Little relic there. Black. Casey Mize. Garrett Crochet. Glaber Torres. Judgy. Jose Devers, Evan White, Andrew Vaughn, Braxton Garrett to 10 for Miami. Uh, Lucas, if you check the break schedule, it'll show you that the football mixer is on the schedule, man. Johnny Cueto, Trout. We caught a trout. We caught a trout. Number to 199. Pavin Smith and Jazz Chisel. Alright, and I'll put to the side the autographs to the side so that way when it comes to doing a quick little recap, we'll have that. That's right, foosball's the devil! 
That's what my mama said, guys. Trying to date a girl named like Vicky Vancouver. Didn't let me. Next box. Next box, Brandon Lau to 100. And we got to 99, William Contreras from Zenith. Clayton Kershaw, Dalton Jeffries, Elite. Nice. I was actually watching a uh, semi-pro last night when I got home from breaking. Nolan Arenado. I haven't seen that movie in a little bit. Will Ferrell, just, just, just classic. Tyler Stevenson, Mookie, Mookie Betts to ninety-nine. Javier Baez, Yermin Mercedes. We got Anthony Rendon. William Contreras, Luke Voigt to 25. Man, I heard that he repeat, uh, reportedly like turned down like 30 million dollars. 30 milli or something like that something crazy amount to uh, do a sequel with uh about uh with elf too because he said it was pretty much scripted as the same same thing kind of and he didn't want that again i was like man i would have loved another elf movie bring back zoe de chanel it's a 299 overdrive cody bellinger Casey Mize, Trey Turner. Tell the Knights would be a nice classic to, to bring back. Well, one of my most recent favorite ones of his was uh, the gambling movie. What was it called again? Where uh, him and his wife. Um, what was his name again? Um, the girl from SNL. You know, they're trying to pay for the tuition to for her daughter to go to school. So they just... Uh, the house. There you go. Yeah, that one was funny as hell. Old school, that's that's another classic. That old school's really funny. Step Brothers is really good too, it's a classic. I just I don't know. I don't I wouldn't want to see it like all the time. Like it doesn't make me want to see that movie every single time though. I feel like I've, I've I'll see better Will for Will Ferrell movies multiple times. For the Amy Schumer I think it is. But the house though, that one was really funny. They actually filmed some of that, actually, uh, 
in Old Town Monrovia. My sister lives in Monrovia right there. really bug these lights really bug my eyes man Jesus the Stefan Floriel look at that origins man they even made origins these these does that anybody love Pokemon does these do two look like two dittos or not dittos um uh is it Diglett I forget the ones also looks like other things but I'm not gonna mention it Badu Dylan Carlson Haas Young Kim. Leody Tavares, Obsidian Autograph. What is this? Oh, it's stuck together. Boom. Bobby Delbeck. Another 400 points. Bryce Harper to 100. Breggy. Fernando Tatis Jr. Nicky Moniak, Taylor Trammell, Pete Alonzo, Jonathan India. That Jonathan India is legit, right, guys? Out of 100, Matt Chapman. Vladdy, Gold Rush. Or gold standard, I should say. Badu. Number 299. Price Harper. Eloy. Another 400 points that we'll be giving out. Alright, next box, and we'll be halfway through the break, guys. Sicto Sanchez. There you go. Man, Sicto Sanchez autograph. What's up, buddy? Jesus. We got Alec Manoa.
Um, Kevin, it is sold out and shows that it is sold out, but if you look right next to it, actually, sorry, it might not be right next to it. It might be the second to next break, but there's a filler. I'll put it right next to it right now. I'll reorganize the website, but basically, um, we have little mini fillers to help sell out the break, so um, we have to sell this specific break. And actually, you'd have to do two of those. Actually, it's right in front of it, sorry. The Allure Hockey Pack that you see on the website. If you look in the title, it says 10 times HP NHL Dual Case Spots Giveaway. That means the hip parade. So we have to sell that out before we can do the break. Because the remaining spots are hiding in those pack fillers. On our FAQ page as well. It'll give you more in-depth on how uh, fillers work, if in case you're wondering. Christian Pache, though, Obsidian Autographs is your redemption. Javier Baez. And Ichiro, nice relic. 299. Carlos Correa, Josh Bell, Brady Singer, Chris Bryant, two ninety nine. No, I haven't Logan, but it doesn't shock me. Crypto will be everywhere soon. I'm just looking forward to all the Disney Disney Star Wars series that are going to be coming out soon. That's all I'm focused on. And you know what? The new Clifford movie didn't look bad, Justin. <laughs> uh... Uh, I seen Kenan Thompson was in there. <laughs> I'll, I mean, I won't watch that in the movie theater, but maybe like an Amazon rental for like two dollars later in life or something. <laughs> or if it's ever shown on regular TV like PBS, I'll probably watch it. Let's ride the book of Boba. That Obi Wan, Ahsoka Tano is gonna have her own. Uh, series as well and Christian uh, uh, sorry what's his last name Haydenson he's gonna also play Anakin again damn damn Well, yeah, I, I think a lot of people that, uh, I, th I think a lot of people, yeah, are excited about that, Mark, because of, uh, the Rebels, uh, animated show, so everybody kind of wants to see, see him pop out of there as well, and they kind of pretty much led into it at the end of Mandalorian, right, so. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a crypto person, I, I have told myself I would love to get into crypto. I see the I see the reason why it's popular. I mean, just think about it, right? Let's say you have family members from from way back when, right? Let's say 50s, 60s. For some reason, they stashed away fifty thousand dollars, right? They stashed away fifty thousand dollars worth of cash. Then they stashed away, you know, fifty thousand dollars worth of gold or something like that, right? Well, in this day and era. $50,000 in cash back in the 50s is the same value today, right? But gold, on the other hand, if they said, yeah, we left $50,000 with the gold back in the 50s, it'd be a lot different, right? 
So I get the whole, I get the whole crypto thing. It's like why not have it as an investment because your money shouldn't be same, staying the same every single year that passes by. But of course, crypto is risky, probably just as as a, as the stock market, right? You know, buying stocks. You know, so something I still want to get into too, but I just really haven't fully committed to it. Like I remember like back in 2016 or 15, everyone was talking about Bitcoin, how it was going to reach $20,000 a coin. And, you know, I even thought of getting, not that I would buy a whole coin, but, you know, getting into it at the time. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was just going to follow other people. But, I mean, shit, how much is a Bitcoin worth now if you have a full one now? It's like crazy. Sicto Sanchez. Christian Pache. Tim Anderson. Leody to yeah, sixty two thousand now and it what did I say? It was like eighteen grand I think at one point back I remember two thousand sixteen or so. It's it's pretty crazy. Christian Pache, number two uh twenty five. Another redemption. Whoa, Trevor Story. Trevor Story. That should be for the Colorado uh, Rockies, right? William with that one. Tristan McKenzie. Christian Pache again. Albert Pujols. Dodgers edition. Ronald Acuna Jr. Overdrive. Kiba Ruiz. Anthony Rizzo Relic. Trevor Rogers. To 100, Christian Pache. Ben Attendee. Ooh, I see a green. That usually means out of five. Kiba Ruiz. No, out of 75 in this one, though. Overdrive colors actually look really nice. Ryan Weathers and Joey Votto. on the side, stick it on the side. Alright guys, three more boxes. If I do finish uh, the video a little behind 9-10, obviously we'll kind of catch up with the other breaks. But it looks like, guys, uh, looks like the hit packs might be selling out soon. Uh, hit packs are now down to eight left. get lucky you take that risk and gamble and just get paid off really big or have lose really big I just think uh, with that the card you know the hobby you just can't be afraid to lose really you're, you're most likely not always gonna win anything 
you're gonna feel you, you'll feel really good when you do win those big hits or you know do well on a return on your investment but don't be afraid to lose basically <laughs> It's like, I have buddies or even family members that go to the casino and like, they love the gambling, right? But then they lose a hundred bucks and they're so pissed off because they thought about like, man, I'm just thinking about it now. I could have used a hundred dollars in something else, you know, and in the back of their head, they were just thinking about losing money. You know, I'm like, well, you're never going to win that way. You have to be willing to like, you have to be like my mom, basically. My mom loves to gamble, right? She loves to do like, you know, slot machines mainly, but she tries a lot of other things like at the casinos. And, uh, you know, she budgets herself. She's like, I brought 400 bucks for the weekend with me. If I can play for the next three days and, you know, even though I don't win anything, but I was entertained for the next three days, I'm okay with it. You know, obviously, deep down, she wants to win, but she's okay with losing that money, you know? While other people are just so sad and just take it all personal and stuff, like when they don't win back their money. Although, like, there's been times where my mom has wasted too much too fast, and then she's kind of mad or sad because, you know, she doesn't have enough for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> but, you know, for her, as long as she gets entertained and she gets uh, to play for the next couple of days wherever we're at. Joey Votto. Jonathan India. Joe Adele. Mike Trout. Giancarlo. Pete Alonso, Max Scherzer, Bohm, number to 299, Evan White, whoa, how about a Lubob, woo, how about a Lubob to 10 gold, it's actually more yellow, but gold, Three out of ten. Chicago White Sox going to Brian Croft. Yeah, yeah, that too, bad. That's that's another good way to put it for sure. Yeah. Going into gambling, you know you're you should know that you're gonna lose, but yeah, you're doing it to have fun, right? I mean, along the way, it's uh, it's great to to uh, win some money. <laughs> win big at the same time, you know, but if you don't, you know, it's that fun. And yeah, Mark, well, see, that's the thing. I think in Vegas, they don't offer parole, so there's no way for it to shorten his sentence, even if he does, you know, good. And, um, yeah, I think all the counts he's facing add up to, like, up to 40 plus years in prison. So, if he does... You know, get found guilty or convicted for those, then it, it, it really could be a long time. So we're not talking like the 2 to 20 right now. It's it's definitely going to be more than that. And, and could be, I'm just saying. Which is pretty wild to think about. And I don't know, man. I mean, obviously, whatever what he did was not right at all. But they could use him as the kind of a... Kind of an example of... Uh, we're not messing around nowadays. Even if you're a big celebrity and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Luis Oviedo. Yeah, that too. Yeah, you don't want to have a DUI in Nevada either, yeah. Like, they're giving you the opportunity to, like, literally drink out in public, although I think it is illegal, right, to drink pub to drink and be intoxicated in public. But in Vegas, they don't give a shit. As long as, as, long as you're not being disruptive throughout the strip, you know, you're not doing anything dumb... The cops won't mess with you, right? You can drink and walk and whatever, right? But, yeah, the minute you want to, like, dr drive a, under the influence, a vehicle or something like that, yeah. It's not, not no good. Yeah, Mark, basically, yeah. I seen that new video that surfaced on TMZ last night. My wife was showing it to me when we got out of work. It's crazy. It was literally in that residential area they were talking about. You know, he was sitting on the floor. Like, I heard him even yell out the F word a couple of times, like, like, knowing he knew he messed up. And then, like, his girlfriend shouting, like, you know, he needs help. They were saying, like, oh, he's a Raiders, Raiders receiver, blah, 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 you know. And supposedly before that video, there were people trying to to get the woman out of the car. 
but um, I think once it caught on fire, they all backed away because obviously, you know, it's kind of don't put themselves at risk, but try to help as, as much as they could. Just sucks. And the dude was at Top Golf. Like that was the craziest thing to me. He was getting like lit at Top Golf. I was like, dude, I was just at Top Golf when I went to Vegas two weeks ago. I wasn't there at night though. I was there during the day. Well, it's inexcusable. Yeah, Logan, for real. I mean, it shouldn't be happening anymore. Uh, you, have, you have all the resources now. Hell, I, I even if, if I had to, like, decide whether to drive or not, and I didn't want to pay for an Uber if I was that cheap or, you know, call somebody, like, I can even just call my AAA, and, uh, AAA to come tow me or, like, give me a ride, you know? There's just so much out there now. It, it shouldn't even be happening. But I, I don't think it's... It's just more the decision that you make when... You're under the influence. Tyler Freeman? Nice. Luminance. Tyler Freeman. That is for Cleveland. Cleveland Indians, that's going to Jonathan. Alec Ball. Glaber Torres. To 99. Tristan McKenzie. Brett Honeywell. Just Chisholm. JD Martinez. L'Oreal to 99. Oh, is this a Cody Bellinger autograph? No, just a number card though. And a 25. King Kershaw. Whoa, look at that. Gold Alec Bohm from Phoenix. 8 out of 10. K. Dot. Steven Kendrick with the Phillies. Nice. A lot of people are high on Alec Bohm for next year. And Kim Ryan Hayes autograph for the Pirates. Franklin. There you go, buddy. Yeah, Logan. I mean, I can't say that I ever did it, but I can't say that I, I never thought about it before, you know? At least I don't remember. It. I mean, I don't know. I've always tried to play it safe because, yeah, not, not I mean, you know. I grew up, we, we didn't, I didn't grow up, uh, you know, obviously very wealthy either, so it's like a decision you have to tell yourself. Like, is it really worth it, you know? But, yeah, I think more often than not, I, I wouldn't doubt it that that wasn't Henry Ruggs' first time driving under the influence. Because if the wife or girlfriend was okay with it, then... Most likely, they've done it in the past before, and nothing's ever happened. So that's probably, you know, another reason why it happened. Because they just allowed it to. But I don't know. My wife is very secure about that too, right? I mean, if she's drinking, I'm not drinking, right? Or if I'm drinking, she's not drinking, so she can be the driver and you know be responsible about it. And she would never in a million years let me drive under the influence at all, you know. David Peterson. Ooh, look at that. To ninety nine.
Jared Kalanick, Lawrence. It's a long time ago, Mike. It's a different world now, right? You got very lucky for that. That's not tolerated nowadays. Especially if you're a big celebrity. Or an athlete. They will definitely make you the example or as Mark said, the poster boy. I think we were talking about this recently too. It was just like... Uh, um, the most... Not the most recent one, but... One, one in the early 2000s with Dante Stallworth. You know? I think uh, Josh Jacobs had a DUI in Vegas last year, right? But he wasn't... He wasn't a... He didn't get into an accident or anything like that. Alright. Last box, guys. about Arnett Mark? What do you mean? He was there too or he had a DUI too? Corey Seager. Cronenworth. Ha Seung Kim. Oh, he hit someone last year too. I don't, I want to say no, but I, I didn't check the checklist. I think Otani is exclusive now to uh, a specific brand. Out of 199, Christian Yelich. I know, I know Mike Trout ain't signed in on this, that's for sure. He's definitely exclusive to Tops. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Daniel Lynch, 299, Ronald Acuna Jr. Joe Adele, though, is here. Actually played pretty good at the end of the season after being called up. 99 out of 99, little RPA. Origins RPA looks really nice, actually, in baseball. There's your Shohei, Hollywood. He was just disguised as Joe Adele. Jose Devers, Juan Soto, and Arcides Aquino. Sorry, I was just like wondering what the hell is this. Jeremy Mercedes, Joe Adele, and Jonathan Stevier, the nice little gold or silver ink from Origins. White Sox had a good break. Out of 50, Joey Bart. It's time for Joey Bart to take over, I guess. Have your bias. Alrighty guys, and that was the break. So let me quickly do a quick recap for you guys. Uh, but the second half, uh, if it hasn't been posted to the store, I'll post it up right now. These should be all the main hits. Little Relic there, Corey Seager, Arsene Zacchino, Jonathan Stevier, Joe Adele, Tyler Freeman, 
Gleyber Torres, Yankees, David Peterson, Kibrian Hayes, Alec Baum, gold, rookie, Joey Votto, Alec Baum, numbered, Kibrian Hayes, Luis Oviedo, Luis Robert to 10. That was really nice. Trevor Zorro, redemption, uh, Albert Pujols, relic, Leo de Tavares, Sigdo Sanchez, Sigdo Sanchez, Ichiro, uh, Lodi Tavares, Christian Pache, redemption, Esteban Floreal, Leo de Tavares, Fernando Tatis, relic. We have to do a randomizer giveaway there for the 400 points. Dalton Jeffries, Nolan Arenado, Mookie Betts, Andrew Vaughn, Pavin Smith, Aaron Judge, and then another 400 points. So we'll go top two, get 400 points as a little added bonus, or if you didn't hit, of course, a little something. So appreciate it, guys. Let's switch scenes. Actually, just put this away really quick. Actually, let's go teams. Roll it. One or two, three times. One, two, three. Texas Rangers, which was Franklin. And the Washington Nationals, which was Stephen Kendrick. There you go, guys. Uh, 400 points are coming your way. Appreciate it, guys. Second half's in the store. JaspiesCageBreaks.com.